growing older is one of those situations, as far as I'm concerned, where you can say, uh, it's nice to be here. In fact, at our age, it's nice to be anywhere. I don't worry about growing older, as long as I keep growing older and older. So you get a little bit more wiser and you get a few more grandchildren and uh, extra people that you can love and take care of. I always said life began at 40 anyway. I think the best part about it is uh, the wisdom you gain from your life experiences and being able to uh, pass that on to the younger generation. My granddaughters say to me, oh, you're very old, are you going to die? I tell them, well, no, not just yet. And uh, uh, other days, I feel very old. I think there are a lot of advantages. I can get to Sydney for $2.50 on the train, <laughs> which, is, which is great. People tend to look after you more. One of the not so pleasant parts about it is that in, I go into the shops, in, into Barrel, and you, you feel you disappear. You're, you're just, young people are everything, and everything's done for them, the shops are there for them, but older people just disappear into the background. So you've actually got to make an effort to get out and to be part of the community. And I think that's important. Probably not too much for ourselves at the time. Oh, oh, yes, I'll do it one day, but I'm not, gonna, I'm not ready for it. I've been thinking about retirement living for quite a while. I'm, I've always been very definite. I do not want to be dependent on family or neighbours. Some people ask me nowadays, you're in a retirement, uh, a retirement home, do they lock you in at five o'clock or before sundown and do they bring the pills around at the appropriate time? There's quite an ill-conceived idea about what retirement living is all about. I want you to find a place where I wouldn't have to worry about uh, maintenance, um, replacing the carpets, or all, all that kind of thing that goes with owning your own home. And I would suggest that people need to think about it. Uh, the persuasion of Carmel in this situation was most important because I wasn't ready for it, definitely. It'll happen one day, but you put it off. Uh, Warrigal Cares Retirement um, Village is wonderful. Um, I, uh, I have no, no regrets whatsoever. I've been there for almost 16 years and I've never had any grouches really. I always relate the story of when Carmel takes the garbage out, she'll come back two hours later because people have said mm. good day to her, come in and have a cup of tea, all of that sort of thing occurs in a place like Warrigal Care here at Albion Park Rail. In fact, it's been very, very good. Um, my husband, when he was alive, and for myself um, then and now. I don't think there are any real surprises. I think if they were surprises, they were positive um, emotions and feelings. Um, actually, I think it's better than I anticipated because we are a community here and uh, people say, well, oh, my neighbours are very good and all that, but there's a, a real bond, there's a real closeness to everybody here and we all do our own thing. You see some people quite often and you don't see some very much at all, but there is um, a very good community spirit here and um, I think the, the extent of that community was a surprise. I didn't expect it to be as good as it is. My in-laws, mother and father-in-law, were moved into a retirement village which was Albion Park under Warrigal Care. And it was there where the first impressions and the following impressions of the care given to those two people who were pretty close to wife and myself, how they were looked after. We put our name down and we were on a list for a number of years. It didn't take very long because we, while I was nursing my mother, we were 
talking about it and uh, we came out and um, liked the villa we saw, paid our deposit on it and uh, I'd say we moved out within about four months. I was fortunate I had two good friends in the bowling club at Fig Tree who invited me up to look at their units, part of the Fig Tree village and uh, took me for a walk and showed me one that was empty and I was sold straight away. So. It, it was our decision to move into the retirement village. I made the decision for myself and I think I've been talking about it long enough with my son and, and daughter that they said, oh yeah, okay, that's, that's what you've always said you wanted to do. Uh, we had somewhere that they were confident we'd be looked after, we would be comfortable and, and settled. Family members were involved, I took them up and showed them the unit we would be getting and they said you're mad if you don't take it. So that was all the support I needed. Uh, some people were very worried that we were doing the wrong thing too early. Uh, why would you want to do this at your age? It's more your close family, your, your close community that you're with and get the support from them as you want to come in. We wanted to retain our independence um, and not be um, reliant on family. And I think you can leave it too late to come in and um, we wanted to come in when we wanted to, not when our family wanted us to. Community living. In a very short period of time, I had to stand up at one of our community meetings and thank everybody for making us so welcome. Safety, security. It's, it's, not, it's not a frightened fear, it's a, a concern. What, what's going to happen to me? What's going to happen next? Well, I know what's going to happen and where I'm going to be. You still live there as you do in your own house and that's all you want. As active, mature age adults, yes, great. I think what you've got to get across to people is don't leave it too late. Do it, if you can, while you are a couple. When you think you're ready, it's too late to put your name on a list. And your family's going to have to move you in because they, they're worried about you, but do it while you're able to do it yourself. Have your own ideas what you want to do with your villa. Have your own ideas where you want to go on holidays. I was already in a, a, a great, secure, safe place when he passed on. Coming into Warrigal Care has added at least 10 years to my life. If I ask for something, they, they give it consideration and I've not been refused. Care was for people. They offer respect. Security here, which is very, very good. They obviously are very good with their staff because the, the staff, all staff that we have met have been courteous and friendly and very helpful. The gardens, well, I like to do my gardens while I still can, so I do. I can sit outside on the balcony and have a coffee while my lawns are mowed for me. And I had the gardener out the front this morning doing some weeding for me because I can't get down anymore. Got our lovely community hall and another thing that we're able to do is use that hall for um, our games. We have exercises there, we have our meetings there, we have a craft day, the men play their snooker and of course the cup of tea for 50 cents, now that's great. But Warrigal Care have provided these facilities that we can use any time. That's really great. We're all looked after, we're informed what's going on at the present and in the future. I've attended the ILU meeting last week and the facts that Mark Sewell gave us, something we want to hear about the future, assures us that the future of Warrigal Care is very bright. It was happy hour. Once a month we have our happy hour and we generally get anywhere between 18 and 20 people. And it's just a chat show. They value um, and give credit to the residents who uh, have certainly achieved something in their life. Warrigal Care does everything well. 